Today I'm gonna be doing a detox on my hair. It's a deep cleanse. I'm actually gonna be using apple cider vinegar and some other ingredients in order to clean off my scalp. Now when it comes to actually getting dreadlocks, there's three key steps in order to getting them. And those three steps are washing the hair, locking the hair, and also maintaining the hair. These three steps are extremely important and the most important one is actually washing the hair. So when it comes to day to day's step, it's extremely important for any hair type, any method you chose in order to get dreadlocks, and pretty much so on and so forth. But when it comes to actually doing the ACV rinse, there's a few things that come into play. And those things are products, like this first product right here is limes. I'm gonna be using lime juice, but not just any lime juice. This lime juice comes directly from the home source. There's actually three different types of washes that you guys can choose from. There is the light wash, there's also the deep cleanse, and the last one which I'm doing today is the detox. All right, now that I got that out of the way, all I'm gonna need is some apple cider vinegar, and I'm gonna need some baking soda. We're gonna start this off by squeezing in our lemon juice. Really squeeze as much as you would like. This is actually an additional product that assists with the entire wash. I'm also gonna be using a tablespoon of baking soda and also a tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar as well and mixing that together. It's a one to one ratio and I use eight ounces of water to top everything off and this is the ratio you wanna work with. If you wanna add any more, just make sure to double it or triple it depending on how much you wanna add in. Now why use apple cider vinegar and baking soda? It's because it causes a very common stem reaction. The reaction is known as an acid base reaction. Baking soda is a base and vinegar is an acid. Vinegar isn't just an acid, it is an acid in water, which is important. The water and the vinegar acts as a host where the base and acid react. During the reaction, when the baking soda is mixed with the vinegar, the baking soda takes a proton from the vinegar. The reaction causes the baking soda to transform into water and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is a gas which is released during the reaction, which gives the bubbling effect. And overall, it makes for a great cleaning agent. So let's begin. I started with grabbing another bowl that I can put clean water in. This is gonna be used as my rinse bowl. I placed both of the bowls on a towel so I can keep a clean area. And then I went ahead and dumped my head into the apple cider vinegar mix. I made sure to saturate all of my hair, but most importantly, I made sure that my scalp was getting most of the attention. So when doing this, make sure that you're rubbing it into the scalp. That's the most important part. Of course, there's many other ways of doing this. You can put this into a sink, or you can even put it into a spray bottle and spray it onto your head and then rinse it out in the shower. It really just depends on how you prefer doing this entire process. The most important thing is to rub it into your scalp using the pads of your fingers. You can even use your nails lightly. Now don't dig into your scalp, but make sure to lather it all in. And if you feel any buildup, make sure to continue working this in. After doing one dip into the ACV mix, I moved into doing a rinse in the clean water. You'll begin to notice that the clean water will get murky, and this is a sign that your hair is getting cleansed and it's also a sign of how dirty your hair actually was. But it's a good thing that you're doing an ACV rinse. Now you wanna repeat this process multiple times because wash, rinse, and repeat is very important. It's not on the back of shampoo bottles just for fun. The first time you wash the hair, you get most of the oils out, and then on the second wash, you're really getting in there and cleaning everything, and on the third one is when you do the final wash. But same thing with washing the hair in the ACV mix. You wanna make sure to get your hair completely saturated with the water in the clean side so that you're rinsing all of that ACV out. If you do have new dreadlocks, make sure to go pretty easy when it comes down to scrubbing your scalp with the pads of your fingers. Make sure to work in small areas and do a little bit at a time. And then once you've washed and rinsed three times, go ahead and get all the water out of your hair and you wanna move on to the next step. So I finished cleaning off my hair doing an ACV rinse and I want you guys to take a look at this really quick. Which one do you think was the ACV rinse and which one do you think was the rinsing water? I mean, look at these. They both seem extremely dirty. This bowl is A and this bowl is B. So make sure to comment down below which one you think is the ACV mix and which one do you think is the rinse water. And I'll reveal which one it is at the end of the video. Ugh. 
now that I'm done cleaning out my hair, I'm gonna go actually shampoo my hair because that's a step that a lot of people miss is washing the hair after doing the ACV rinse. But while I'm washing my hair, there's a huge sale going on on greatlocks.com right now. So make sure to click the link down below and save on dreadlock tools during this holiday season. All the tools on this website are meant for every single person's hair type. So from straight hair all the way to extremely coarse hair, these tools work for anybody. And a lot of people always ask the question, when is the best time to start your dreadlocks? And it's really during the winter months because you're not gonna be able to wash your hair as much during the beginning stages. So it's best to start your dreadlocks off during the colder season. So if you wanna start your dreadlocks, make sure to go to greatlocks.com, pick yourself up the locking bundle or even just the tool separately. And they're all on great low prices right now. You no longer have to waste your time doing a whole bunch of other methods. You can simply use the crochet hook to instantly lock up your dreadlocks and you can use the interlocking tool to maintain your roots. And those are the only two things you have to do with dreadlocks is you have to maintain the actual dreadlock and you have to maintain the ruse. All the packages getting sent out are in our limited edition holiday packaging and I gotta say it's my favorite packaging so far. So click the link down below to shop greatlux.com and all of our holiday low prices. I'm overall really glad that I did a detox on my hair using the ACV and also some lemon juice and also some water and then some baking soda. And all of these ingredients together make for a really good detox. Right off the bat I'm able to notice how much more light my scalp feels and how much more clean and actually breathable when you do an ACV rinse, that's one of the things that you notice is it's very breathable. Today's the next day and I haven't done a retwist. I haven't done a hairstyle besides obviously the one that you're seeing right now. And I was actually extremely surprised that I was able to maintain all my sections with doing a deep cleanse because I was rubbing my scalp really good with the pads of my fingers and even my nails to really just get in there and get all of that buildup off of my scalp. And you guys were able to tell the difference between the clean water before and after me rinsing out my hair. And that honestly just goes to show how dirty my hair actually was. And to be honest, I said that I haven't washed my hair in about a month, but it's been actually closer to two months. And it's all right, as long as I stay consistent. Now, what do I mean by staying consistent? It's important to stay consistent because your scalp reacts to how consistent you wash your hair. And it's based on a frequency. So if you wash your hair once a week, your scalp is simply going to adjust to you washing your hair once a week. If you wash it once a month, your scalp will adjust to that. But just remember, if you consistently wash your hair twice a week and then you wanna to get to washing your hair once a week, it's gonna take a progression. So if you do it once a week, then try to start washing it every eight days and then every nine days, and then keep taking steps backwards until you get to once every two weeks. But once you find a comfortable washing cycle to where your scalp agrees with it and you also agree with it as well, do your best to stay on that consistent schedule so that your scalp can be consistent as well. But you guys, that's really all it is to do an ACV rinse. It's really important to do these because you want to rejuvenate your scalp back to its normal pH balance. And I'm actually going to be leaving a link down below on more information on doing an ACV rinse, even with just two products versus the three that I use today. But I do want to give you one final look of what my hair is looking like right now. So which one was the dirty, which one was it clean, A or B? We have A being the dirty water and B being the clean water. This is what the ACV mix was in and this is what the clean rinsing water was in. All right guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. It was really fun making and honestly, it was probably my favorite part just cleaning my hair because it's been so long. I'm really excited to do another hairstyle, but I don't want to do two strand twists or braids. I want to try something new. So stay tuned for some upcoming videos to where I'm going to try different hairstyles. And if you guys remember me telling you, that's one of the main things I'm focusing on now is learning different hairstyles on myself so that I can really just perfect my dreadlocking skills. <laughs> but really quick, I do wanna mention the big sale that's going on at greatlocks.com right now. So you can click the link down below and save on some dreadlock tools during this holiday season. Speaking of holiday season, my mom actually just bought me this Marvel shirt and I'm a huge fan of Iron Man, if you guys haven't noticed already. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace and God bless.